Good evening. Let me try that one more time. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to the Tarleton State University Division of Student Affairs Leadership and Service Awards. My name is Daryl Brown and I serve as the Executive Director for Student Affairs. Last year, 2021, the Leadership and Service Awards were held with limited attendance due to the COVID pandemic and our university restrictions. But tonight, it's great to see each of you and your smiling faces all in one place. We are so excited that we can gather together to celebrate student success and achievements. So without further ado, let me officially welcome you to the Student Affairs Leadership and Service Awards. <laughs> Award recipients, this evening is for you. I hope you all enjoyed your dinner. Let me thank Chef Michael and Sodexo for their catering service. Let's give them a round of applause. I would like to introduce some special guests with us also. Tarleton 16th President and First Lady, Dr. James and Kendall Hurley. Dr. Credence Baker, Vice President, University Relations and Chief of Staff. We've got plenty of time, so I'm going to let you applaud after each one of them. Uh, former Texas A&M student regent and former Tarleton student body president, Mr. Kalen Cheatham. <laughs> Steve and Sherry Trogdon. Steve is the son of the late W.O. and Flo Trogdon, who served as our 12th president. <laughs> uh, Dr. Kelly Styron, vice president for student affairs, and her spouse, Kent Styron. Dr. Lori Helvey Mason, Professor and Assistant Vice President for Student Affairs. <laughs> Dr. Diana Ortega Ferret, the Dean of Students and Assistant Vice President for Student Affairs. <laughs> Dr. Dennis Jones and Dr. Ann Albright, longtime friends of Student Affairs and Tarleton faculty. Thank you all for being here tonight. <laughs> Mr. Lon Reisman, Vice President for Athletics, and his wife, Misty Reisman. Dr. Sherry Ben, our Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. And Dr. Javier Garza, Vice President for Enrollment Management. Thank you. I see my friend, Dr. Chris Shaw, Dean of the College of Business. Dr. Fraser, I see he's here. What? Dr. Fraser, yes. Dr. Hayes. Dr. Hayes, thank you. Dr. Pellegrino. Dr. Horak Smith, thank you. Dr. Elizabeth Wallace. And my friend, Dr. Ebony Lane. Thank you all for being here. And last but not least, good old fraternity brother of mine, Mr. Greg Schoonermaker, president of the Tarleton Alumni Association and his spouse, Cheryl Schoonermaker. To begin this year's award recognition, I would like to call your attention to the back of the program. We will follow the program as printed. Now, award recipients, when your name is called, please enter the stage on the ramp to your right, my left. And when you exit, exit the same way you came. Uh, once you exit the stage, please report immediately to room 130. Let me repeat that. Award recipients, please report to room 130 so that we can take your picture for our Grasper, Grasper book and the staff will be there waiting on you. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Scott Blackwell, Executive Director for Residence Life, Dr. Hurley, and Dr. Styron to assist with the award presentations. Residence Life has three awards to present to our residential leaders. They are a new residential leader, a returning residential leader, and a senior residential leader who went above and beyond in their leadership roles in campus housing this academic year. 
The residential leader position requires an exceptional balance of skills as these student leaders work to engage residents and build community while also communicating and holding peers accountable for campus guidelines. To be recognized for these awards, these residential leaders need to demonstrate excellent time management and administrative skills, the ability to mentor first year and returning students, as well as other residential leaders, and the ability to encourage students to persist at Tarleton and become involved students all while serving on call, responding to incidents, helping students overcome barriers, resolving conflicts, and connecting with students. Simply being exposed to students isn't enough. These students were all in on helping Tarleton students this year. Will Alicia Ross please approach the stage? This year's new residential leader of the year is a sophomore social work major from Weatherford, Texas. She embraced her new role as an RL by being exceptional from the very beginning. From the administrative aspect of being an RL, she met every deadline and completed every interaction. As for building relationships, she was intentional with the residents who lived in her hall. She was often found hanging out at the front desk even when she wasn't working on the clock because she truly had a passion for serving others and making them feel welcome this year. The patience she possessed was demonstrated in everything she did this year, from countless conversations with residents, responding to incidents, and team building in her hall. Congratulations, Alicia, Alicia Ross, our new Residential Leader of the Year Award recipient. Please join me in recognizing Alicia. Congratulations. Will Kaylee Pippins please approach the stage? <clears throat> this year's returning residential leader of the year is a senior liberal arts and fine arts major from Azell, Texas. She's gone above and beyond by stepping up this year in a time of need when her staff was without a senior residential leader. Since appointed to her role, she guided many hall staff members through overwhelming times. She made certain all staff tasks were completed. She was very active in her residential community and encouraged residents to attend hall community and university events. Congratulations, Kaylee Pippins, our returning Residential Leader of the Year Award recipient. Please join me in recognizing Kaylee. Will Jace Thetford please approach the stage? And finally, the Senior Residential Leader of the Year Award. The Senior Residential Leader of the Year Award recognizes a special SRL who has gone above and beyond the call of duty by serving as a leader among leaders to mentor, guide, and assist incoming student leaders transition to their new positions. This award recipient is a senior electrical engineering and science and technology double major from Brownwood, Texas. The award nominator said this about Jace. He's a constant positive reflection of the Department of Residence Life and his student worker colleagues. He has a passion for the SL SRL role and demonstrates it throughout everything he does. He worked hard to create a positive environment in the residence hall in which he works and lived this year. He's a consistently strong supporter of others and mentors many at Tarleton. Congratulations to Jace Thetford, our Senior Residential Leader of the Year Award recipient. Please join me in recognizing Jace. I would like to now invite Suzanne McDonald to present our next awards. Hello, my name is Suzanne McDonald. I serve as the Assistant Director for the Joe R. and Dr. Teresa Lozano Long Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and International Programs. I will be pre presenting the ODIIP Leadership Award. This recognition is awarded to a student who advances diversity and inclusion at the student organization level. 
The promotion of diversity and inclusion can be done in partnership with our office or done independently with student organizations, research partners, and so on. I am proud to present this award to Miranda Demas. <laughs> She's graduating, so I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> Miranda has been instrumental in advancing our office's mission and goals through her leadership. Miranda has taken initiative to promote events, brand our monthly heritage months, and has made inclusive spaces on the Fort Worth campuses through her creativity and imagination. Her work is fun, educational, and engaging, and I see her personality shining through everything she does. Within BOLD, Miranda has served as a leader supporting the group and our office by creating awareness, education related to safe sex, sex positivity, and gender expression. Miranda has shared her leadership skills not only among her org members, but also with her peer student interns, where she is a team player and very supportive of her whole office. The next award is the ODIIP Equity Award. This recognition is awarded to a student who helps advance the goals of our office to advance equity at Tarleton State. The advancing of equity or removal of barriers that help promote the sense of belonging, celebration, and inclusion. And that can be done in partnership with our office or independently with student organizations, research partners, and so on. I am happy to present this to Madison Demas. As a student leader, Madison has advocated for multiple minoritized groups since prior to joining our team in December of 2020. Among the many efforts Madison has accomplished include the creation and promotion of programs that help shed more light into the issues and topics of interest of our Latinx populations, like the Salvadorian American experience, where she co-created Tarleton's very first pupuseria. She has also created awareness and affirming campaigns supporting the LGBTQ plus community, black African student uh, communities, and women's topics. Congratulations to both of you. Our office has been very lucky to have you. And it is my honor to uh, invite Ms. Lethes Towns forward to present the Lance Zimmerman Department of Student Involvement, Traditions, Spirit, and Family Relations Awards. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I like to start by saying, what a great day it is, isn't it? You guys are so beautiful out there. I like what Mr. Brown said, I love the smiles. The Lance Zimmerman Department of Student Involvement and Family Relations is excited to highlight students within our department who embodied and amplified uh, commitment, hard work, outstanding dedication to both students and families. This year, we are honored to recognize our seniors, their contributions to, to our department in Tarleton State University. Our first recognition is gonna go to Mr. Christopher Blake. Christopher Blake is the recipient of the Student Connection Award. As a membership director for TAB, Chris excelled at building connections and fostering relationships with students. He did an outstanding job with he did an outstanding job of connecting our students through programs and events uh, by hosting our TAB this year. Our next recipient is Mr. Miles Taylor. <laughs> Miles Taylor is the recipient of, in, of the Engagement Award. No matter what time of day, Miles has reminded hundreds of students and faculty members and staff to have a good morning. Good morning. As the marketing director for TAB, he has been instrumental in coordinating, engaging, and communicating a variety of student-run, student-designated student de student activities throughout this year. Thank you, Miles. Our next recipient has kept our office on the cutting edge with 
graphic design, and social media communication. We are pleased to present Ms. Destiny Oni with this year's with this year's Social Media Award. Destiny, thank you for keeping our students and families informed about all our programs and services throughout the year. Our next senior recognition goes to Mr. Octavio Martinez, who we finally call Tavo. He's the recipient of this year's Customer Service Award. In addition to being our friendly voice and face at the Student Informational Help Desk, Octavio has served at has served as our interpreter for the Spanish-speaking families at our commencement, service, our commencement ceremonies each year. <laughs> Caitlin Gibbert. Caitlin Gibbard transitioned to our team this spring as the Texan Trail Transcript Student Coordinator. She is receiving the Student Development Award. We would like to thank Caitlin for her contributions and her support for this emerging program that's going to be rolled out for the class of 2026. Our next recipient came in bouncing with joy, Miss Stephanie Council. <laughs> Stephanie joined our office this spring as the intern, working with our parents, our TPA, Tarleton Parents Association. She has established new protocols for our membership recruitment our process and implemented a new filing system to help maintain accurate, precise parent parent rosters. She is a recipient of this year's Department Family Relations Award. You know, I'm not used to reading from the paper. <laughs> I got it, Mr. Brown. Our final award would be given this evening to the Lance Zimmerman Tradition Spirit Award. This award is being presented to our organization that has logged over 8,500 volunteer hours serving our campus and community, the Tarleton Ply Boys. They assisted with summer orientation sessions, attended numerous athletic and campus events, and built the best homecoming bar bonfire in the state of Texas, if not beyond. I am pleased to present the Lance Zimmerman Tradition and Spirit Award to the Tarleton Ply Boys. On behalf of Ms. Carbamia and Mr. Daniel Mendoza, thank you seniors and the Tarleton State Plow Boys for your hard work and dedication to our department, the students, and to Tarleton State University. I would like to invite Ms. Hillary Trussell to present the Student Media Award. Good evening, my name is Hilary Trussell and I'm the Director of Student Media. Student Media is home of the Grasper Yearbook, the 
JTAC, Charleston's official newspaper, and the source, the on-campus print shop. In my role, I have the honor of serving as the advisor for the Grasper and the JTAC, along with Caitlin Oxford. It is my pleasure to recognize two distinguished leaders from our department this evening. First, I'd like to recognize Hannah Equal. <laughs> Hannah is the editor-in-chief of the Grasper. As the editor-in-chief, she plays an important role of documenting everyone's favorite memories, campus traditions, and historic events. In addition to the creative role Hannah plays in our office, she also leads an incredible team of three editors who support her through creating the yearbook and making sure students get yearbooks in their hands. It has been an honor to work with Hannah and watch her lead the Grasper team. Hannah came in with an amazing vision for the 2022 yearbook and immediately got to work leading her team in making that vision come to life. Thank you, Hannah, for your excellent leadership skills and the passion you have put into documenting history at Tarleton State University this past year. I can't wait to get the yearbook you and your team designed into the hands of students this fall. Speaking of getting yearbooks into the hands of students, Hannah and the Grasper team have handed out a record number of yearbooks in a record period of time. This comes as no surprise as the 2021 yearbook was recognized as an outstanding yearbook of 2021 through our yearbook company, Walsworth, and received third place for cover design at the Texas Intercollegiate Press Association competition this spring. So this, the design of this book is a fan favorite on and off campus. Great work, Hannah and the Grasper team. Next, I'd like to recognize the editor-in-chief of the JTAC newspaper, Blake Smith. Blake has been a contributor to the JTAC in some fashion since her freshman year at Tarleton. She started on our writing staff and worked her way to her current position, leading a talented team of editors who help her create a beautiful and informative paper. If you're an avid reader of the JTAC, you may have noticed some noteworthy changes throughout the spring semester, and that is all thanks to Blake's dedication and incredible ability to bring the team together. She leads her team with grace and dignity so that they feel empowered and confident in providing our Tarleton campuses with timely, informative news. Not many people get to see all that goes into getting a paper printed, but I will tell you this. Print night in a newsroom is beautiful chaos, sometimes more chaotic than beautiful due to the fast-paced, deadline-driven environment of news, and the team is often faced with last-minute challenges. Blake has so wonderfully worked with her team that when those challenges arrive, they all feel confident enough to work with them and turn those challenges into successes. Blake led the JTAC team to achieve six awards at the 2022 Texas Intercollegiate Press Association Conference. The team won three awards for photos, while Blake personally won three awards for two of her articles and one award for her talent in developing creative, eye-catching headlines for the paper. Blake, thank you for your dedication, grace, perseverance, and incredible leadership skills. You have achieved incredible things for the JTAC with your team. Congratulations. Also, happy 21st birthday, Blake. <laughs> Next, I want to invite Kari White to recognize Fraternity and Sorority Life Awards. Hello, all. My name is Kari White, and I'm the Assistant Director for Fraternity and Sorority Life. Um, the fraternity and sorority community at Tarleton is comprised of 15 organizations and almost 1,000 students. There are, they are one of the most visible and active groups on campus. Each year, the community as a whole hosts more than 500 events, performs thousands of hours of community service, and raises money for the respective philanthropies. You've probably seen fraternity and sorority members at Texas Move-In, athletic events serving in leadership roles across the campus playing at murals at homecoming events, and so much more. Our community members are able to accomplish all of this while maintaining higher 
<clears throat> higher average GPAs than non-Greek members and graduate at a higher rate than their non-Greek peers. None of this would be possible without the student leaders in place. Each organization and each council have a team of dedicated leaders who make it their core mission to ensure their peers, brothers and sisters, have a meaningful membership experience during their time in a Greek letter organization at Tarleton State University. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's persons, this, this, this year's Greek persons of the year. Our first Greek person of the year is Davy Wood. Davy, could you please come to the stage? Davy is the past Panhellenic president. During her time as president, Davy led the Panhellenic executive team to a successful recruitment, which is during COVID. I'm sure she could write a book on how to lead adversity. Davy is a member of Alpha Gamma Delta sorority. Thank you for a job well done. The next person is Matthew Flores. Matthew, come to the stage. Matthew is a former member of the Interfraternity Council executive team. At many events and activities, you could find Matthew being the person that was promoting all things for the entire men's fraternity chapters. Matt is a member of the Kappa. <coughs> Ka I know, but look, that's what I'm saying to chapter first. Oh, okay, but I'm going to say Sigma Chi then. Um, in Sigma Chi, he served as president. Matt was elected to 2021 as Mr. TSU. The third and final Greek person of the year is Malik Miles. Malik, come to the stage. Malik is no stranger to the inter-Greek organizations. He is currently the president of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Malik has been a strong advocate for the African-American community at Tarleton. Although his chapter membership has been small, he has worked diligently to increase membership. Let me take this time to invite each of you to Phi Beta Sigma's new member presentation on April 22nd, 2022, in the Wisdom Volleyball Gym. Congratulations to our outstanding Greek leaders. I now invite Mr. Daryl Brown back to the podium to the presentation of the Individual Leadership and Service Award. Thank you, Kari. The Freshman Leadership Award is presented to two first-year students who have demonstrated exemplary leadership and service through involvement and participation on campus. This year's awards go to Hannah Hale and Isabella Allen. Please come to the stage. <laughs> Isabella, go ahead and enter here. Hannah is majoring in English and is a member of the Freshman Representative Council in Student Government. Hannah has participated in Leadership 101, Tarleton Serves, and is part of the Honors College and Presidential Honors Program. Please congratulate Hannah, please. <laughs> Isabella is majoring in Agribusiness with a concentration in Eco-Agribusiness Management. She is also a member of FRC, SGA, served as a team leader for the sixth grade day away and loves everything ag, and just recently represented Tarleton at the Conference on Student Government Association at Texas A&M. Congratulations to both of you. The next award is our Sophomore Leadership Award and it's presented to two second year students who have demonstrated exemplary leadership and service through their involvement and participation on campus. This year's winners are Tanner Chambers and Rachel Barrett. 
Please make your way to the stage. Tanner is an Ag Services and Development major with emphasis in Ag and Environmental Sciences. Tanner is a first generation student who is on the Dean's List. Tanner has served as a TTM and on the Tarleton Roundup Leadership Team and he is a member of Farmhouse Fraternity and has served as a residential leader. Give a round of applause for Tanner. <laughs> Rachel is majoring in Ag Services and Development and is a member of the Honors College. She is currently involved as a TTM, FRC, and has participated in activities such as lighting of the smokestack, purple pancakes, and Tarleton Roundup. Rachel is also a member of Block and Bridal and the Tarleton Collegiate FFA. Congratulations to Tanner and Rachel. Our next award is the Wanda Mercer Legacy Award. This award is named after the former Vice President of Student Affairs who served this institution for 19 years. The winners of the Wanda Mercer Legacy Award are Rod Ozagod, come to the stadium. Jay Stetford, come to the stadium. R. Rod is a Bachelor of Science major concentrating in data, data analysis, science, and technology. R. Rod founded the Student Research Association in August of 2021 here at Tarleton. He has served as the president of the Math Club and currently he is a member of SGA serving as the vice president of university relations. R. Rod has volunteered at Hope Incorporated, Erath County Food Bank, and Tarleton Roundup. Give another round of applause for R. Rod. Jace is a Bachelor of Science in Technology Electrical Engineering major. Jace is a first-generation student who has been recognized for his academic achievements, such as the President's List. Jace has been a residential leader and a senior residential leader. He co-founded two recognized student organizations, and they are the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers Student Chapter and the Student Research Association. He is a member of SGA and currently serves as a public relations lead for the Tarleton uh, and Rocket, Rocket, Rocketry team. Congratulations, R. Rod and Jay. The Graduate Student Leadership Award is our next award and it recognizes students who are currently working towards the completion of their master's degree. Being a graduate student is no easy task, and these individuals balance their academic expectations with professional and personal involvement. The winners of this year's Graduate Student Leadership Award is Erica Key and Michelle Marshall. Please make your way to the stage. Erica is pursuing a Master's of Business Administration and will graduate in May 2022. She currently is employed at the Center for Leadership, Service, and Outreach. That should get a round of applause. Ah. She advises Tarleton Roundup, Tarleton Serves, facilitates Leadership 101, Noontime Knowledge, and plans the annual Women in Leadership panel. Erica is a member of Alpha Gamma Delta and Order of Omega. Next is Michelle Marshall. Michelle is in her second year of her master's program and serves as a graduate student in the Department of Biological Sciences, teaching several labs a week. Michelle has received a 2021 Presidential Excellence in Research Support Grant. Y'all give her a round of applause for that. She is a member of the national chapter of the Beta Beta Biological Honor Society and has received Distinguished Representative of the Graduate Program of Cost, as well as finding time to participate in Tarleton Service Day and assist with the field trip that takes place at Timberlake Biological Field Station for the fourth and sixth graders. Congratulations to both of you. <laughs> the 
The next award is the Impact Award. And this award acknowledges and honors the efforts of students committed to excelling academically and contributing positively to the campus through student involvement while balancing various roles as a non-traditional student. Our first recipient of the Impact Award, award is Charlotta Block. Charlotta Block, will you make your way to the stage? <laughs> Charlotta is a mother of two young children. During her graduate and undergraduate career, she has maintained a full-time job and has graduated with honors. I like a quote Charlotte, Charlotta mentioned in the application, it reads, has my educational journey been easy? No, but the journey has impacted my life and my children's more than anything. Congratulations, Charlotta. Our next award recipient of the, is, of the Impact Award is Sandra Lorden. Sandra, would you make your way to the stage? While Sandra is making her way to the stage, uh, I need you to know that these award recipients, uh, some have been nominated, some have self-nominated. And the stories that they write in those applications are worth reading. It really shows you, Dr. Hurley the hard work that these students put in every day to represent and bleed purple. In 2015, at the age of 33, Sandra started back on her educational journey. She has a determination and a goal to one day graduate from college. As a single mother too, she founded a student organization at Tarrant County College called Students in Recovery. She has served on the board for several organizations and is the recipient of the professional of the year award, Phi Theta Kappa, Chi Sigma, Iota, and the Honor Society there. She is a volunteer with many organizations, including her son's PTO. Join me again in congratulating both Sandra and Charlotta on receiving this award. The next award recipient, or the award we'll give out, is the Earl Rudder Award. And this award recognizes individuals who put their heart and soul into everything they do. The students often work behind the scenes and routinely go above and beyond the typical requirements. Mentors and supports encourages, and they inspire the organizations and the members or other students. These students are deserving of the recognition because of their incredible work ethic, which makes a difference. This year's Earl Rudder Award winners are Stephanie Council and Kayla Key. Please come to the stage. <laughs> Stephanie is majoring in sociology. She currently, currently Stephanie is serving as Charlton Ambassador's President. She has been a Rogam for Panhellenic and works in the President's Office as an intern. She has been instrumental in starting the Tarleton Diplomats at the Fort Worth campus, as well as assisting with events such as the Lead and Love event and the Staff Unity Luncheon hosted during Black History Month. Stephanie is also a member of Delta Phi Epsilon Sorority and has held several, posi several leadership positions in that organization. Give another round of applause for Stephanie. <laughs> Kayla is majoring in Ag and Environmental Sciences and was a member of the Dean's List in the fall of 2021. She is currently the student director for the Tarleton Roundup and is a member of Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority where she currently serves as the Vice President of Philanthropy. Kayla believes in community service. She donates to the Purple Pantry and Human Society. Congratulations to you both. The next award for the evening is the Advocate Award. We have two outstanding students who both could not be with us tonight, but I would still like to call their name and give you some information about the award. The Advocate acknowledges and honors the efforts of students who strive to promote understanding and appreciation of diversity and inclusion through leadership, advocacy, and education. You can find these individuals promoting social justice and are fostering an understanding between diverse uh, and, and through valuing diversity and appreciating multiple identities. 
The winners for the Advocate Award are Keegan Buchanan and Keisha Kindred. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Keegan is a master's student majoring in business. Keegan, during his undergraduate years, served as a residential leader and rose to the ranks of senior residential leader. In the resident halls, Keegan collaborated with ODIIP office to host programs he felt would help students understand various identities and why we should be respectful for one another. This falls in line with one of the Tarleton's core values of respect. Keegan has participated in Tarleton Roundup and Academic Service Day. Keisha, she is a psychology major, and that individual nominated Keisha said this, she fits the requirements for the Advocate Award perfectly. She has experienced all types of prejudice and unfair treatment, but she has grown to promote and understand all facets of diversity. She treats everyone how she would like to be treated. Keisha is a member of the National Society for Leadership and Success and is currently working in her hometown focusing on social injustice issues through education. Give both of them again a round of applause. The next award for the evening is the Leadership in Athletics Award. Tarleton State is a proud member of the Western Athletic Conference Division I. Wow, wow, come on guys. And tonight, we recognize two student athletes who have represented us well with their high standards of teamwork, integrity, leadership, and sportsmanship in academics as well as athletic achievements. Our first award recipient goes to Emma Holcomb. Emma, please come to the stage. Emma, you can enter. Emma is a kinesiology major and was on the Tarleton women's volleyball team for four years. One of the sentences that struck me when reading Emma's nomination was this, and I quote, I strongly believe that, that my why on this earth is to make a positive impact, and to do that, I knew that I had to start by not only being a leader on the court, but being a leader off the court. Emma is a member of Delta Zeta sorority. She's a member of the leadership organization there at, and athletics for volleyball, and recently joined Alpha Epsilon Delta Honor Society. Emma's last quote was this, getting more involved has been the best decision I have ever made, and I can't wait to continue to strive to make a difference and a positive change in not only the Tarleton community, but the world as well. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Jimmy Aguilar is our next recipient of the Leadership and Athletics Award. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Jimmy is a kinesiology major all the way from Orlando, Florida. As a transfer, Jimmy made a huge impact as a Tarleton student athlete. She earned the honor of all WAC doubles team and the academic all WAC awardee. The WAC doubles player of the week on April 20th she is a student athlete advisory committee co-president, and her community involvement includes, but not limited to, Pink Out Week, Toys for Kids Drive, the Purple Pantry, the National Women and Girls in Sports Day. Jimmy scripted, organized, edited, and submitted a video bringing awareness to the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Please give a round of applause for Emma and Jimmy. By the way, while uh, Jimmy is making her seat, going to her seat, I would like for you all to give a round of applause to the entire tennis team on their first Western Athletic Conference Championship title. Our next award this evening is the W.O. and Flo Trogdon Individual Service Award. The W.O. Trogdon served this institution as the 12th president along with his lovely wife, Ms. Flo Trogdon, for 16 years. It was under Dr. Trogdon's leadership in 1973 that we moved to Tarleton State University. Their son, Steve, a proud Tarleton alumnus, and his wife, Sherry, are in the audience. Steve has already joined us on the stage, so thank you. This year's W.O. and Flo Trogdon Individual Service Award goes to Sally Love.
take you down. Okay. Sally is majoring in agribusiness and is from Crawford, Texas. Sally, Sally is a TTM. She's a member of Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority, serving on the executive leadership team, and has logged over 300 hours of volunteer service combined between high school and college. Callie, uh, Sally was recently chosen to serve on the Tarleton Roundup leadership team. Let's give another round of applause for Sally. While Sally is going to her seat, I asked her uh, if I could do this, and I would like uh, for you all to uh, introduce to y'all uh, her mother. Her mother was the Texan writer here at Tarleton State University when I was here. Tracy, stand and let us recognize you as well. Thank you. Thank you for coming home. Appreciate it. The last award I will present is the May Jones Advisor of the Year. The May Jones Advisor of the Year recognizes a person who serves voluntarily as an advisor to recognize student organizations. This person allows the students to take responsibility for their own learning, provides advice, encouragement, and support while exemplifying the university core values. This year's winner of the May Jones Advisor Award goes to Christy O'Keefe. Christy is the advisor for Delta Zeta Sorority. She has been described as someone with a loving heart for the organization and has spent countless hours encouraging and challenging the members to grow, improve, and be better Delta Zeta women. Help me again congratulate Christy O'Keefe. It is now my privilege to invite Erica Key, Program Coordinator for the Center for Leadership Service and Outreach, to the podium to present our organizational awards. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Greetings and congratulations to all of our winners. This evening, I have the privilege to um, present the organizational awards. The first award is the WO and Flo Trogdon Organizational Service Award. Mr. Steve Trogdon has already been in introduced, um, but I would like to invite you back to the stage um, to assist with this awards presentation. This year's winner of the WO and Flo Trogdon Organizational Service Award goes to Alpha Phi Omega Fraternity. Would the members of APO please come to the stage? APO, founded in October 1963, is one of the oldest recognized student organizations on campus. This group of students amazes me for their continued dedication to service. APO's service projects consist of the Easter egg hunt for children, pumpkins for puppies, Stephenville Park cleanup, Valentine's hearts, trunk and treat for the foster home, Ducks at the Hurleys and a Make-A-Wish Christmas card. Congratulations, APO, and continue to serve. <laughs> program of the Year. This award recognizes a program that is open to all students and student organizations. This program must fall within Tarleton's vision to be the comprehensive regional public institution in Texas and beyond. It is my privilege and pleasure to present Program of the Year to the Tarleton Collegiate FFA Individual Leadership Development Event, also called LDE. Dr. Frazier, would you please come to the stage? And any other members of the college um, Tarleton Collegiate FFA chapter, if you would like to join Dr. Frazier as well. LDE is the largest leadership development event in the nation. Each year, Tarleton Collegiate FFA chapter hosts 2,500 FFA students from over 300 high schools. This event provides our undergraduate students an opportunity to learn leadership skills. 
it brings back former students in agriculture um, to Tarleton to provide prospective students an opportunity to see what Tarleton has to offer. Congratulations to the Tar Tarleton Collegiate FFA on being chosen as Program of the Year. The next award is the Senator Robert J. Glasgow Award. It is named after Tarleton alumnus from Stephenville who served in the Texas Senate from 1981 to 1993. This award is presented to a community business organization or individual who has supported student projects and activities through contribution of time, experience, and financial resources. This year's award recipient goes to House of Moses Ministries, Will representatives from House of Moses please come to the stage to receive this award. <laughs> House of Moses Ministries is a leadership organization that has been led by Director John Barnes, a Tarleton alumnus. House of Moses has um, sent international Haitian students to Tarleton State University since 2015. Then and currently, student International nursing student Ruth Multimer, is that correct? Has been able to successfully win the battle of adversity because of the sacrifice that House of, Mo House of Moses has supported for her college journey. House of Moses prom promotes volunteerism, mission trips, and social justice advocacy as they bleed purple. Congratulations, House of Moses. Our next award is named after the late Colonel Will L. Tate, who was a former student athlete and generous benefactor of Tarleton. The Colonel Will L. Tate Organization of the Year Award is given to a representative, um, excuse me, a recognized student organization that demonstrates the importance of campus life, by, campus life by sponsoring projects, activities, programs, and involvement. This year's award winner is the Black Student Union. Will representatives from the BSU please come to the stage to receive their award. The Black Student Union was established to provide African American students the space for encouragement. The organization has taken steps to educate and host events that are beneficial to Tarleton and the African American community. The business, the Black Student Union, excuse me, often referred to as BSU, prides itself on promoting Tarleton's core values of ex excellence, integrity, and respect. Let's give the BSU another round of applause. I always love standing back real quick. <laughs> Now I would like to invite Shad Hanselman, Assistant President, Vice President, excuse me, for Engagement in Advancement Services, along with Mr. Greg Schoonmaker, President of Tarleton's Alumni Association, to give the next award. Thank you, Erica. My name is Shad Hanselman. I do serve as the AVP of Engagement and Advancement Services, but I really would like to be the Assistant President. I don't know what we have to do to make that happen, but <laughs> it is my honor to serve with the Charlton Alumni Association. For those that, you do not, that do not know, the Charlton Alumni Association was founded in 1912 to provide financial and volunteer assistance and support to the university. The association engages alumni, parents, and friends of Charlton via multiple events and activities throughout Stephenville and the state. The TAA serves as a holder of tradition, in particular the Tarleton Ring Ceremony. The last, in the, since 2013, the TAA has provided approximately half a million dollars in student scholarship support 
through membership and fundraising events. It is my honor to serve the TAA Board of Directors and introduce Mr. Greg Schoonmaker, President of the Tarleton Alumni Association. Greg is a 1990 graduate of Tarleton State University and will announce the Keeper of the Gates Award. Thanks, Chad. Uh, what a great honor it is to be here this evening and representing our many alumni across the state and country uh, to present the Keeper of the Gates Award. Uh, this award goes to a student who has invested their time, their talents, and resources to make Tarleton a better place than when they arrived. The winner of this year's award is Margaret Tippy. <laughs> Margaret is a graduate student majoring in public administration. Margo, as she's often referred to, uh, came to Tarleton in 2018 as a transfer student, already having her, received her associate degree. She applied to be a TTM as a first-year leader. Then she applied to be a returner for the TTM program and later chosen to be a student director for the new students program. She currently serves as a graduate assistant to the Dean of Students Administrative Office. Margo is also a member of Delta Phi Epsilon Sorority and has held positions in Public Relations Coordinator, Special Events Coordinator, and as pan Panaletic Delegate. Uh, Margo has also served in the President's Office as a legislative intern and spent countless hours researching bills that have been filed uh, in, in the Texas Legislature. Finally, Margo's experience includes serving as the College of Graduate Studies Congressperson and Student Government Association. Congratulations, Margo. At this time, I'd like to invite Christy O'Keefe to the podium, please. everyone. The TTS and the TTP, most commonly referred to as the Purple Poo, are a staple here in campus life at Tarleton. Each year, the 20 members of the Poo forego a normal Tarleton student experience and volunteer hundreds of hours to help promote and further the spirit of Tarleton State University. A common phrase you will hear when referring to the Poo is it's not about who's behind the mask, which is true. Except tonight, it's about the organization's ability to encourage involvement, connection, and spirit all over campus. This is a really exciting time of the year because the faces behind the masks are revealed and the campus community gets to honor and celebrate those students and their time and dedication to not only Tarleton, but the Purple Poo. It is my honor to recognize the TTS and the TTP graduating seniors for keeping the spirit of Oscar P and the traditions of Tarleton State alive. Please come forward when I call your name and remain on the stage. Cade Parrish. <laughs> Brother Simp is a kinesiology major from Chester, Texas. He has been a member since spring 2020. Brother Simp served as the TTP president for the spring 2022 semester. Ashton Sims. <laughs> Sister Singe is a social work major from Perrin, Texas. She has been a member since spring 2021. <laughs> Hayden Holbrook. Brother Sparrow is an economics major from Bridgeport, Texas. He has been a member since spring 2021. <laughs> Hayden Holbrook. 
Hannah Greaves. <laughs> Sister Sketty is a social work major from Brownsboro, Texas. She has been a member since spring 2020. Zarek Emerson. <laughs> Brother Fastball is a kinesiology major from Glen Rose, Texas. He has been a member since spring 2020. <laughs> Reagan House. Sister Dumtrup is a kinesiology major from Forney, Texas. She has been a member since spring 2020. <laughs> Charles Wasberg. Brother Snoop is a wildlife science pre-vet major from Great Land, Texas. He has been a member since spring 2020. <laughs> Kaylin Flowers. Sister Beetle is a criminal justice major from Prosper, Texas. She has been a member since spring 2020, and she also served as a TTS president for the spring 2022 semester. <laughs> Jeremy James. <laughs> Brother Peggy is a business major from Nakona, Texas. He has been a member since spring 2020. He also served as the TTP president for fall 2021 semester. Jeremy was unable to be with us tonight, but we congratulate him for his award. <laughs> Maddie Kahili. <laughs> Sister Buss is a kinesiology major from Mesquite, Texas. She has been a member since spring 2020, and she also served as the TTS president for fall 2021 semester. Please help me in congratulating the 10 TTP and TTS for all their service to Tarleton. Please help me welcome Dr. Kelly Styron to the stage for our next award. <laughs> and I want to invite Kendall Hurley to come to the stage. Thank you. Before I give the final awards for the evening, I would like to give a special thanks to the Center for Leadership, Service, and Outreach for organizing this event along with Sodexo for the delicious meal, Tarleton Marketing and Student Media for the technology, the pictures which we will all enjoy for years to come, and finally to Campus Operations for the setup and event assistance. Let's give them all a round of applause. Now for the final awards of the evening, the John Tarleton Spirit Award. The John Tarleton Spirit Award is considered to be one of the most prestigious recognitions a student can receive at Tarleton State University. It is awarded to deserving seniors who clearly demonstrate leadership and service. These students have dedicated themselves to this university and have made their mark on Tarleton history. Each recipient 
will receive a framed certificate that is a replica of the original Tarleton diploma and a distinctive Tarleton watch, which you will receive later by stopping in at the Center for Leadership Service and Outreach office. Please remain on the stage until all winners have been announced for a group photo. Kaylin Cheatham is our first recipient. You've heard earlier that Kaylin is the former Texas A&M University System student regent, a position he did not take lightly and where he represented the entire system student body with excellence. Kaylin had the privilege of serving as Tarleton's Student Government Association president while Tarleton was in its first year as an NCAA Division I institution. Kaylin's student involvement and academic achievements are too many to mention here, but help me again congratulate Kaylin on this award. Our next recipient is Angelique Romique Duran. Angelique is a senior communication studies major with a concentration in public relations and event management with a double minor in mathematics and leadership studies. She is a member of Delta Phi Epsilon Sorority, has served as a TTM on the Tarleton Activities Board Programs Coordinator, involved with the Texan Corps of Cadets, and she traveled to Panama City, Florida to assist with the Hurricane Michael relief with the Tarleton Serves Leadership Program called Alternative Spring Break. Please help me congratulate Angelique. Shiloh Stallcup, will you come to the stage as our next John Tarleton Spirit Award winner? Shiloh said she was inspired to live out the Texan life during duck camp, where she was recognized as the most spirited camper. Duck camp is what started her passion for Tarleton. Shiloh has served on the Presidential Advisory Board for Diversity and Inclusion. She has served as a residential leader, Tarleton Activities Board, and has logged over 400 hours of community service from high school to college. Please help me congratulate Shiloh. Our next award recipient is Desiree Garcia. Desiree is a senior majoring in history. Desiree has served on the SGA leadership team for two years as secretary. She is one of the founders of PANCAS, has been a residential leader and a member of Alpha Omicron Pi sorority. She has served as a volunteer for LEAP into STEM camp in San Antonio, for Tarleton Roundup, TTP Pooh Centennial Celebrations, and Welcome Bash. Please help me congratulate Desiree. Marco Salazar, will you come to the stage and be recognized? Marco began his leadership journey by applying and becoming a Tarleton Transition Mentor. He then became a Texan rep and is involved in Student Government Association as the Vice President of Programming, where he has had the privilege of planning homecoming. His most memorable volunteer experience is with the Tarleton Roundup, where he has served as an Assistant Director for Operations. Lastly, Marco is a member of Lambda Chi Alpha Fraternity and was a Tarleton Homecoming King nominee in 2021. Let's congratulate Marco. Our next award recipient is Kylie Sparks. Kylie has been busy perfecting her leadership skills. She has been the president of three organizations. One of those was her sorority, Phi Mu Fraternity, Tarleton's American Marketing Association, and Delta Mu Delta Business Honor Society. Other successes Kylie has experienced are being selected as Greek Person of the Year in 2021. She is a member of the Order of Omega and the Tarleton Upper Level Honors College. Please help me congratulate Kylie. Amber Tower is our next recipient.
Amber has served in organizations such as Residence Life, Charlton Transition Mentors, Catholic Campus Ministry, and the Rifle Team. Amber describes that the relationships she has made at Tarleton through her involvement in these organizations as what made Tarleton home. She said, and I quote, by constantly holding true to Tarleton's core values, I have accomplished many things, both in and out of the classroom. Congratulations, Amber. <laughs> Our next recipient is Destiny Alney. As Destiny makes her way to the stage, I have to share this with you about Destiny, which will hopefully remind you of the importance of some of the pre and post events Tarleton hosts while students are in high school. Destiny shared that she fell in love with Tarleton while spending a week on campus for a leadership conference in high school. That love for Tarleton has continued throughout her collegiate career. Her involvement includes Greek life, specifically being a member of Sigma Alpha sorority, TTMs, TAB, and has received many academic recognitions such as Alpha Zeta, Order of Omicron, and Renaissance Scholars. She has even studied abroad in the Czech Republic with the College of Agriculture and spent time in London to study Jane Austen's work. One other thing I like to share about Destiny is the quote she likes by John C. Maxwell. True leadership must be for the benefit of the followers, not to enrich the leader. Congratulations, Destiny. Sadie Saxon, will you make your way to the stage as our next recipient? Sadie, a nursing major, has been involved on campus as a TTM. She has served her sorority, Delta Zeta, as secretary, historian, and president, Tarleton Roundup leadership team, and has been a member of the Tarleton Honors College. She's also a member of the Student Nurses Association, a member of the Sigma Theta Tau Honor Society, and was the Tarleton State University 2021 Homecoming Queen. Let's congratulate Sadie Saxon. Our next recipient is Christopher Blake. Christopher started out his journey at Tarleton with the intention of Tarleton only being a pit stop in his college career. His goal was to attend Texas A&M University, and as you can see, something happened. Christopher got involved, and from what I read and see, he stayed and will be graduating from Tarleton this spring. These are his words, and I quote, Here I am four years later, grateful to have had all of the experiences I've had, wearing my ring with pride, and ready to be a Tarleton grad for the rest of my life. Christopher has served as the president of Phi Kappa Sigma Fraternity, Tarleton's Activity Board, Texan Reps, Tarleton Athletic Training Students Association, Tarleton Roundup Leadership Team, TTM, and Interfraternity Council as Vice President of Recruitment. Congratulations, Christopher. Brooke Rogers, will you come to the stage and join this group? Brooke is a nursing major. Her involvement includes serving as a TTM for two years and one year on the leadership team. Tarleton Roundup leadership team, Tarleton Ambassadors, Tarleton Serves, and just recently gave up her spring break to travel to Biloxi, Mississippi, volunteering with Alternative Spring Break. She has been named Lambda Chi Alpha Sweetheart and has assisted Dr. Hurley and Mrs. Hurley with babysitting their two precious daughters. In Brooke's application, she wrote a profound statement I'd like to share with you. Tarleton's three core values go hand in hand with each other because if you want respect, you must live with integrity. And if you live with integrity, you're one step closer to excellence. Please help me congratulate Brooke. Malik Miles is our next award recipient. Malik is a communications major with a minor in political science. Malik has been involved on campus as a member of the Black Excellence Association. He founded and served as the president of the Black Student Union. He was a member of Mental Freedom and currently serves as a residential leader and a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, Gamma Kappa Gamma Chapter. 
In the 2021 Grasper, Malink Miles received recognition for being the outstanding student in the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and International Programs. Help me congratulate Malik. Our next recipient is Miles Taylor. Miles, will you come to the stage? Miles shared this about his thoughts on leadership. Leadership is not exclusively reserved for a position. It can be found in many areas. For Miles, his greatest form of leadership is his authenticity. Anyone who knows Miles knows that his smile is contagious, and regardless of the time of day, he will greet you with good morning. Miles has definitely been active on campus. He has served on the Tarleton Activities Board, a member of Student Government Association, co-vice president of Freshman Representative Council, a congressperson for the College of Business, a TTM, a member of Tarleton Serves, and has volunteered with the Cross Timbers Fine Arts Council and the Stephenville Chamber of Commerce, Holly Jolly Christmas. Let's give another round of applause to, to Miles. <laughs> Hannah Eckwall, will you please come to the stage? <laughs> Hannah is a senior communication studies major. She has been a student worker for the JTAC since her first day on campus in 2018. She later joined Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority. In 2020, she joined Tarleton Roundup's leadership team, has served as a Tarleton transition mentor, and in the fall of 2021, was named the Grasper Editor-in-Chief. Congratulations, Hannah. <laughs> Ivana Naya, come on down. You're our next recipient for the evening. Yvonne started his journey as a transition team mentor. He later participated in Tarleton Roundup, serving on the leadership team and joining Farmhouse Fraternity, where he has served as Vice President of Administration. With his fraternity, he volunteered to help Tarleton Serves with a project of cleaning bricks so they could be used on roads in Stephenville. Lastly, Yvonne was chosen as the 2021 Tarleton Homecoming King. Congratulations. <laughs> Davey Wood, would you come to the stage and be recognized? <laughs> Davy is a wildlife sustainability and ecosystem science major. In her application, she said she has done everything but play a sport or be an ROTC. Here are some of her accomplishments. She has served as the Assistant Director of Public Relations for Tarleton Roundup, Panhellenic Council President, T-Rock Leadership Team Member, Vice President of the Chapter Wellness of Alpha Gamma, Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority, Residential Leader, Student Government Association, Co-VP of Programming, served as the ASL Club as Treasurer and was a member of the Wildlife Society Organization. Join me in congratulating Davey. Our final recipient for the evening is Alexandria Entralgo. Alex <laughs> Alexandria is a senior ag services and development major. She came to Tarleton as a transfer student in 2018. Alexandria says she knows that Tarleton was where she belonged when she attended Texan camp and even won Texan camper of the week. This inspires her, inspired her to become a TTM. She joined Delta Phi Epsilon sorority, participated in Tarleton Roundup, and later became one of the leadership team members. Alexandria has a passion for service. She volunteers regularly at the animal shelter and with her sorority has led projects and fundraisers that have made an impact. I'll end with this. Alexandria said she was excited to become a teacher because every day she will be able to make a difference in the lives of her students and she hopes to inspire them to lead a life full of service. Please give a round of applause for Alexandria and all of our award winners this evening. Thanks. <laughs> 
This concludes our program. Students, I want to thank you for your resilience and for moving forward. From the list of accomplishments, you have finished well. Let me ask you to continue to live Tarleton's core values of excellence, integrity, and respect, and always bleed purple. I'd also like to thank each of the faculty and staff who are in attendance tonight. Your commitment to the students in whatever capacity has definitely made an impact. Thank you for coming and have a great evening. Help support students, visit givingday.tarleton.edu.